Alan Smith, SNP MEP. Um, money for Dumfries Hospital from the European Investment uh, Bank. What do you make of it? Well, it's great news. and it, Obviously, this isn't an act of charity. The money is going to be paid back. But the European Investment Bank does loan at considerably lower rates of interest. So this is uh, fiscal, fiscally sound management on the part of the Scottish Government, on the part of the procurers. It's also good news for the people of Dumfries and Galloway and, indeed, the borders. So uh, this is upgrading Scotland's infrastructure to serve the citizens better, making sure that we're accessing European funds, which have been available for an awful long time. But we're now actually getting into those budgets, so it's a very positive development. I mean, building a hospital is very expensive, difficult to get hold of, a great deal of money in these difficult times. So I understand £109 million pounds they're getting from the uh, EIB. Um, is it, does it help? You mentioned the low interest rates. Does it help to have EU uh, ways, EU funds available for accessing cash like this? Very much so. And uh, where we've had this debate with uh, the ruinous PFI initiative, which we saw the UK pile into massively, which was essentially taking a commercial mortgage over public assets, this is not that. This is very much about the public sector providing soft loans to the public sector to provide publicly owned, publicly run infrastructure for the benefit of the Scottish public. So this is exactly what we should be doing. This is going to spur economic activity in terms of building the thing. That will create a number of jobs. So there's, this is really a good news story about Scotland's engagement with the European framework. Is there a sign that Scotland could go for more projects like this one, that it's, it's worth accessing funds? I understand this is the second hospital to get uh, European Investment Bank money this year. I think there's a, a number of uh, EU-funded projects we could be pushing forward from a Scottish perspective. I, th I think that, that work is very much underway. The European Investment Bank recognises that Scotland's a strong, stable partner. We're a good bet, so uh, there's no question that there is an enthusiasm on the part of the European Investment Bank to fund infrastructure projects because it's a safe investment, we're a reliable debtor and a constructive partner with the European framework. So keen to be part of this. This is a good news story, but uh, we want to see much more of this going forward. How difficult is it to go about bidding for money like this? Is this an easy route? Is that the advantage? I understand the hospital could be up and running in just a, a few years. Does it help to get things off the ground to go for EU funding? Well, so it's, it's a fairly complex process, as you'd imagine. They don't just they don't just give you a hundred million pounds, but uh, there's a lot of uh, forms to be filled in, a lot of paperwork to be done, a number of meetings to be had. But remember, this is publicly funded, publicly run infrastructure, which will be properly managed and properly uh, financed by the public sector from the European side and the domestic Scottish side as well. So this is a very safe bet. This is a, a, not a commercial loan in any meaningful sense of, of the word commercial. So this is exactly what we should be doing. This is good news story for the people of Dumfries and Galloway and the borders.